Um, if you could give a, a hospital just starting in social media one tip, what would that be? Uh, don't be afraid. It's really not as scary as you might think. Uh, it's really nothing more than ex an extension of the communications that you're doing already for your organization. Uh, usually the people that are stepping forward saying we want to do social media uh, at a hospital are the folks that are responsible for outward facing communications. It could be a public affairs person, marketing person, media relations person, web person. You're already comfortable with the idea of speaking for your organization. You understand the do's and don'ts and uh, of what you sh should be saying and how you should be interacting. And so that's really the major piece of the puzzle that you need to have ingrained when you go in and create a Facebook account and a Twitter account. Um, I'd say get a, go ahead and get started. Uh, get get a, a comments policy approved by your legal department. Make sure you have the legal basis covered. Uh, but go ahead and get out there because people are looking for you and they're talking about you and uh, they will welcome you into the conversation. And it's not a one-size-fits-all, even uh, similar yeah. types of size hospitals or staffs, they all have different needs, right? They all have different needs, and you have to evaluate what is the culture of your hospital, what is the, um, the, uh, um, the ability to take what might be perceived as risk, uh, what, is, uh, what are your resources, uh, how much time can you devote to this? I'd also suggest that you look internally for the folks that are actively using social media in their personal lives. You probably have folks in, in your hospital that are very active on Facebook for their hobbies. Maybe they're a musician, maybe they're an artist. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you can look around you and find people that are very comfortable in these communities. Determine whether they're, they're people that could be trained for uh, the appropriate use of social media representing the hospital. Uh, there's a lot of ways you can look at this, and uh, I'd say that uh, the example of 800 hospitals stepping up uh, shows that it isn't as hard as you might think. And if people follow you on Twitter, they can access a list of all those hospitals and start following those conversations. That's right. I maintain a big list on my blog where I'm tracking, uh, again, uh, 830 hospitals at this point uh, across the United States with links to their different social media tools. Uh, I track Facebook, YouTube, Twitter if a hospital has a blog, and I've got a nicely organized set of lists broken down by state where you can go into a state and, and look at all the activity going on uh, by hospitals in your area. Fantastic.